What's up you guys? We back at it again. It is the first week of November, so you know what time it is. Some month in review. All right, you guys, so right now I'm gonna cover the month of October when it came to my juggernaut training program uh me rebooting it and doing the cycle again and last month i told you i'm gonna run the cycle again i'm gonna lower my numbers and uh work on a lot of my weaknesses when it came to my three main lifts the biggest improvement in my last cycle was my bench just because i changed the way i bench pressed um which aided in increase in strength over a four month period which i was very happy about um but towards the end last cycle my squat just went to crap my deadlift went to crap um my body just felt weak and i felt like i couldn't do the lifts so i ended up rebooting it and setting my maxes at uh, 365 for bench, 500 for squat, and uh, 550 for deadlifts. So I, uh, you know, um, the first week of the juggernaut program, you do your tens waves, you do you know five sets of ten, and then um, next week you do a variation of um, reps, still five sets. And then on uh, the third week, you're kind of doing your realization phase where you're going to really test out your strength. And not crazy weight though, I think about 60, 65% of your 90% um, one rep max and you hit a certain amount. Um, for squats, you can see here that I went for 12. Yeah, I, I wanted to get 13. I kind of miscounted just because fatigue was setting in and I ended up hitting 12, which still isn't bad. Um, definitely, I I liked what I saw. You can see that I went a lot deeper. My depth is a lot better. Uh, my breathing control, my core was engaged the entire time. I have so much more better um, shoulder internal rotation that allowed me to get my uh, elbows underneath the bar, you know, get that shelving um, effect with the back, squeezing the lats together. So I was satisfied with the squats. Um, next was my bench press, and I was aiming for 14 reps here of um, 250, no, 255, I forgot. Um, and I ended up hitting 13. Um, once again, it was just fatigue that set in. So I was just off by one on what I wanted to hit, uh, but still was satisfied. Um, then we went to shoulder presses and I, I believe I got 14 out of that, which I was happy with. You know, I definitely try to, being that it's seated, I really want to keep my rib cage down and my core engaged the entire time not relying on any um, burst of movements, using my back, using my lats to push the weight up. Um, and uh, for deadlifts, I believe I hit this for 13, which isn't bad, um, just getting back in there. But what I've done, if you can see in the video, is that I'm doing a deficit deadlifts. I'm doing all my deadlifts uh, deficit in order to really bring the strength up from the bottom of the lift so being that i'm only one inch off the floor so being that when i go back to conventional deadlifting off the ground not in a deficit i'll be more powerful my back feel like i won't uh it won't give out um and i'll feel a lot more stronger and a lot more engaged in the lifts um and that was it as far as uh the month of october um pretty satisfied i'm definitely you know gonna continue with how i'm doing it and i'm gonna show you the you know the accessories that I, i'm doing for squats bench deadlifts and shoulder press in order to help increase the strength 
um because i believe a lot of that is you know the accessories that you choose in order to be beneficial for your actual lifts so um in other you know in later videos i'm gonna break down exactly what i do for each lift i have their own separate videos um i'm gonna highlight my weaknesses why i chose these exercises why i think it's very beneficial and uh break down the details and so on and so forth for uh every lift that i believe that works for me everybody is different so you know if you have similarities with the problems that i have definitely try using them on yourself um but if you do want advice if you would do want help in acknowledging what your weaknesses are definitely feel free to email me dm me on instagram so you guys that's the month in review i'll see you next time